family still stuck in Kabul trying to find a way out and lawyers right here in Chicago working on a way to help them do just that. WGN's Brona Tumulty joins us now with a story you'll only see on WGN. Brona. Good evening guys. Heartbreaking tales indeed. Attorneys here and around the country are working day and night to help people here in the States bring friends and family to the U.S. Normally to sponsor someone and bring them over here you need to be a relative but these are special circumstances and because of that one Chicagoan is stepping up and trying to save the lives of three families. I grew up in Iran, so there are a lot of Afghan immigrants in Iran. Pega Postelar got a call from her cousin earlier this month about three brothers and their families who needed help getting out of Afghanistan. She called me um, and she told me, hey, um, this is happening, this is like uh, my best friend's family and they've heard that if like uh, they know someone in the States they can support them and like bring them over and I was like you know that I don't have that much power. But she like, does in a crisis like this and she quickly connected with the families. There are fears of uh, retribution and retaliation um, like through this like you know shift of power. People are after them and nobody helps them. She says one of the brothers sat with his wife and three children at Kabul airport this week for 48 hours waiting on a flight, even after the Taliban whipped their 10-year-old son. They never even got close to a plane and are now stuck in a place where their neighbors with similar jobs and positions have already been murdered. Taliban like got into their neighborhood and went like to, to the same person who was um, like holding the same position as one of these guys like working with the government and they they killed them in front of the like the entire family and terrified those she's come to love could face the same fate she set the wheels in motion to bring them here it is a moral obligation and Fiona McEntee is helping her do just that. And I've been working as an immigration lawyer for the past 14 years. They're working around the clock to get people out of harm's way. Because we're trying to file humanitarian parole cases um, and the way that works is somebody needs a US-based sponsor for that. While the legal work is being done for free, that paperwork comes with an almost $600 government filing fee. It's $575 per person. That's for every man, woman and child trying to escape. The U.S. has created this situation by just the absolute botched way that they tried to leave. We have a moral obligation to these people. These are human beings. These are people's lives. They both say the August 31st deadline should be extended. And even with every effort being made, plus constant calls and texts back and forth to Afghanistan, there are no guarantees any of this will end well. What happens if you try to call them and nobody answers the phone? I don't know. I'd be broke. Like, what would happen? What can I do? If, if they do not respond to me, I'll probably have nightmares for, for the rest of my life. But they're hoping the American people can put some pressure on those in power. People need to speak up. Call your congressmen. Call your senators. Call your aldermen. If you have people that they, they, they have more power, like, talk to them along with opening their arms and their hearts to those who desperately need some help. This is life or death for people. And these people are human beings. They would make absolutely wonderful additions to US society. And I really, really hope that we get to show you that and that they get to show you that, but we need to get them out safely. Now, if you want to contribute toward the cost of those government filing fees, we're told the best way to do that is through a non-profit named the Paris Equality Centre. We'll get the link for that up on our website under this story. Even under normal circumstances, that's hard to do. You went through it yourself. I went through yeah. it firsthand. Yeah, it's, it's such a, a long, lengthy, exhausting process. But it's, what I went through is nothing compared mm -hmm. to what they're going through. Okay. Thanks, Brona. The names of the